Hey family, good morning, good morning. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing great. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Justina. I am a mom of three. I have two boys and one girl. Welcome to my channel. So today's video, we are starting from the floor. Yes, we are starting from the bottom of the floor. <laughs> Uh, I woke up this morning and this floor needed a good scrub. And I was like, you know what? Let me do my mama proud today. Let me do my mommy proud. She raised, <laughs> she raised a traditional woman. She raised a hardworking woman. Can somebody tag my mother on this video? <laughs> <laughs> Can any of my brother tag my mommy on this video or share with this video with my mommy so she will be proud? <laughs> because I remember when we were growing up, she'd be like, you need to bend your waist down, bend your waist down. <laughs> you don't stand up and clean the mess because you're not going to clean it very well. You need to see the ground. You need to be one with the ground. You need to touch your chest with the ground for you to clean that dirt properly. So please, somebody tag my mother today. She needs to see this and know that I'm working hard and doing everything I can. So <laughs> this floor needed a good clean. So I woke up and I was like, you know what? Let me be on the ground and scrub this floor front and back. And yeah, it was good. It was actually calming and relaxing as I am doing this. And I'm kind of reflecting on my childhood and also laughing on my childhood. And I'm like, okay, mom. Okay, I see. I see. Yes, I see. But yeah, anyway, guys, welcome back to my channel. And yeah, we are starting off with cleaning the floor and couple of duties, couple of mommy's duties this morning is going to happen anyway. <laughs> and can I say, whenever people see you mopping this floor, that is when they know that they will be walking. I don't know why, why Killian with his tiny feet is walking all over the floor that I'm trying so hard to mop. <laughs> Somebody pray for Killian. But anyway, after that, we are now doing laundry. Our Irish dad is doing his own laundry and I am doing my laundry. So um, I'm taking off the clothes that I washed um, two days ago and uh, putting them away. So yeah, we are in a total you know, cleaning and laundry mode this morning. Everything is happening this morning as we are you know, in the mood of doing things. Because sometimes you wake up in the morning, you're not you're not in the mood. You're like, excuse you, I just want to sleep. I just want to lie here. Do not speak to me anytime soon, please, please. But some morning you wake up, you kind of have a full burst of energy. Actually, me and him said it. Me and our Irish dad said it to each other. We're like, mm, I feel like we woke up on a good level of energy this morning and we have a good energy to, you know, get stuff done and which is amazing. Hey Splinter, you okay? Hmm? You okay? Good boy. You're a good boy, isn't it? Hmm? You're a good boy. Good boy. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you eat anything? Splinter, did you eat anything? No? Your sausage looks like it's burning. Already? It looks like. 
The I top. Just right, just right. Is it done? Yes. Yeah, it looks very, it looks very good. So I left our Irish lad with his breakfast. He's busy making breakfast for us. And we have a visitor coming up later. And he was like, oh my God, why are you going to the shop? Now the breakfast will soon be late, ready. And our visitor will soon arrive. And I was like, let me rush up now because I know if I get too comfortable and get too relaxed, I will not do it again. I was rushing up to the shop to get sunscreen for me, Maeve and Karen because our sunscreen is out now i am i am in a different uh, boot uh, shop so i'm looking around to see where they keep their sunscreen i don't know where it is but um yeah it was like a mystery <laughs> trying to find <laughs> the section of the sunscreen but yeah um i was all over the place i did not know where they put their sunscreen <laughs> it was like amazing here just walking around and looking around and trying to find where the sunscreen is but yeah i later found it but lucky me on this day they were doing kind of um offer on their sunscreen and i was like yay lucky me anyway yeah <laughs> Because okay, yeah, yeah, because they are bringing from you, but this thing UK did it did not favor them at all. It did not favor them because a lot of people actually loved working in Argos. You see, people in Argos that so so many people now have lost their jobs. They got a great package. Oh, oh they got it. Imagine because they began to have price for everything in there. So, who wants to leave that place? Because everything you need in your house is there. Only food. The only thing you don't need there is food. Imagine. Yeah. After working there for so many years, now you don't they have a job. Deal, right? You said they give them good deals. That's but then now you have to still find a job because you're not going to live I on the, the good deal. These were often the jobs were taken over. We're offering them jobs, you know. There's no company taking over Argos. Some of the, you know, other types of shops moving in. Of course. Yeah. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. very sad. Mm -hmm. All the discount you'll be getting in there. I know. <laughs> I think they treat them well as well. Yeah, they do. Because their staffs are there for years. Ah, it's very sad. Imagine losing a job you have had for like 10 years or something, just like that. Come on, Iceland. Huh? I did not know Icelanders. I heard when Argos was saying they're going to close down. I heard it on the radio. I said all those lunch. I said all those secondary school children. Mm. Oh, wow. Their lunch, um, because when you say food, I was thinking, what other shop does food apart from Audi and uh, Lidl and mm -hmm. Don of them? Iceland. Uh, uh, Iceland. I, I was going to do one in Tala. Mm. And then uh, I just saw their school. What, what happened? <laughs> Google it but Tesco is Tesco not British owned? No. Eh? Tesco is it not British owned? Yeah. But they're the big. Yeah, they are a bigger big company. They are bigger company than Iceland. Yeah, they, they are. Did you need administration? They are bigger company than yeah, Iceland. Actually, Iceland. I, don't see. I yeah. do, please. Iceland that was here. Anto, was give me a call, please. Thank you. Iceland that was here was actually. A, a, an agency that I started pulled out years oh, ago. All right, okay. And the guy here mm. said, the agency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he would, uh, he would find the administration heavy going. Okay. They pull Thank out. you. Like Tesco <laughs> here is huge to pull out. My God. Mm, just taking, you know, everywhere, they're everywhere. But that Iceland, no, I have it. 
Iceland really, uh, no. It's a good place to buy stuff, Iceland. Yeah. Yes, My actually God. Very cheap. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Tesco comments. Tesco yeah, Kukuma. Just, Tesco yeah. Kukuma run and take the space. <laughs> 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 what did they say? Some people are crying, some people are smiling. That is, that is life. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> You're the administration for because. I said, let me go and stock up. You know, after Christmas. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, they were there by uh, before Christmas. Wow. I think you know. I think they. Mm. I don't know. Maybe after November around. I, I think ah. that's when they. I said, okay, let me stock the house up mm -hmm, now because mm -hmm. you know now we are in March. Exactly. I just saw things go coming soon. From where to where? <laughs> 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 don't change my <like> <laughs> How is it possible? <laughs> a couple of companies pull How out, is so it possible? The Max and Spencer's pull out. That's why it's like pennies. Uh, they want to everywhere. everywhere. They want to be everywhere. They just want to take over. Hmm. <laughs> pennies. Uh, yeah, pennies. Pennies and Tesco. It's like the pennies in square. Uh -huh. Then when they open, people, all the people, like all the shops, yeah, they yeah. crying. <laughs> Because now they know that this, this is it. And truly, yeah. Thank if you. If you go to square, yeah. And if you go to square now, oh, empty. You want you want want no, no, no. I just ate now. Empty, <laughs> empty shops. Because now everybody is spending. What are you looking for? In uh -huh. Everything no, is there. Yeah. Makeup, everything. They are well, well, well. uh -huh. as well now in pennies. They are greedy human beings. Bed sheet, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Own they don't. Balls. They don't want anybody to shine. Yes. <laughs> the other day I went in there. I saw like a, you know deck of flowers. Yari yari yari. I was like, eh, eh, when stop. when did this start? Make up everything. Uh, they said they were crying. They said they didn't want them to come. Not, not that, it's because of those giant shops that small business cannot succeed. You know. Yeah. Small. Have you had breakfast? No. There is in the oven. So after our visitor left, it was time for me to make dinner. We really just sat there chatting all day and we did not know where the time has run to, but we spent a good bit of time just sitting down and just talking and laughing and just, you know, just relaxing basically. But anyway, after that, it was time for me to make something for us to eat and i remembered not i remembered i bought this meat yesterday and i put it in the fridge so it was time for me to get it usually when i buy meat i just kind of you know clean them wash clean cook and you know put it in the freezer and when i'm about to cook it is easy i just take it out and just you know pop it inside the sauce or soup or whatever and it's ready but yesterday i was super tired i did not do any of that i did not i just bought it just put it in the fridge and just so you know what i'll deal with it another day but um yeah i am trying to make us um some food to eat now
So today's dinner is spaghetti and sauce. Now this is our meat, it is ready and I divided the meat. I took the one that we're going to use for the sauce and then I left the other one. I'm going to uh, put it in the fridge, when in the freezer when it cool down. Now I have a tomato sauce that I have fried already and i brought it out from the freezer and then i used it for the sauce so um i like these days to prepare my stuff in advance like let's say they i'm free not doing anything i will boil some tomato i will like you know pre-cook tomatoes and all that just put it in the fridge and sometimes when i know sometimes most most times when i buy my meat i like to cook them and put them in the freezer because then cooking is easier later and i don't like too much stuff to stress me out these days i don't like to be standing in the kitchen for hours and hours i want just 30 minutes boom bam bam i'm done i'm out anyway the food is ready and yeah i'm dishing out the food now and it did not take time to make this food at all because of the tomato was you know blended cooked and put away and all i did was just boil the meat and boil the spaghetti anyway guys thank you so much and bye